Hi guys, in this video I'll be walking you through setting up Timekeeper profiles. The Timekeeper profile section is used to enter basic information about the user. To create and edit Timekeepers, head under Account and in this instance my account shows the term Professionals. Since TimeServe allows users to customize many labels throughout the app, the term Timekeeper will appear as it has been set up under Account and Settings. So this could read as either Associate, Consultant, Employee, Fee Earner, Professional, Resource, Staff Member or Timekeeper. It will still pull the same screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on the plus sign to create a new professional. Give the professional first name a last name, email address, and a username. You can see the password rules are laid out here below. The user will be emailed their password with the option to reset it. You can even set up a password expiry process for all users within the firm by visiting account and settings tab and specifying a time frame within which you want your users to keep resetting their passwords for security purposes. Okay, and now I'm going to set a default rate for my timekeeper. We have a complex hierarchy of rate systems in our app, so keep so please refer to the rates article and video for more details on this. Go ahead, click save. Okay. So now we are on the Timekeeper profile screen. So here are the details we just filled in. Now two-factor security. Two-factor authentication helps with improved security. You first have to enable this under Account and Settings tab where administer users can decide if authentication will be required with every login either daily, weekly or monthly and these settings can be set up either under account and settings or to be flexible they can be changed under the individual user's profile in case the user needs a unique setting and then we have the social security number so you can fill in the user's social security number here this is of course useful for your firm's accounting department when reporting your income you can also toggle between active and inactive for users you will not be able to inactivate a user if they are an approver for another user so you would first have to remove the approval system for that user to inactivate them. The type of user could be a timekeeper or a support user. A support user will have basic and limited access to their account. This is useful if, for assuring the security of your firm's data. Employment status can be set up as either contract or employee. And down below here we have the bypass approval checkbox. Now, this will only be visible if approvals are enabled under Time, Settings, General and the Enable Time Approvals by Professional checkbox. As you can read from the message below, if the Bypass Approval checkbox is not checked and no active approver is specified for this user, newly created time and expense entries will be automatically approved. So. If you do want to set up an approval system, please make sure that you come under here and you set everything up appropriately. So if we click on manage approvers, we can set other users to manage entries created by this specific user, i.e. John Smith. So level one automatically is grayed out. You cannot change at this level. The system will automatically go level by level when you cre keep creating new approvers. Level 1 also means the chain of order in which the approvals will go down if more than one user needs to be approving this user's entries. And then we have an approver for button. So you can see here that this user is an approver for Amber Little Matter Auto Accident Level 1 and it can approve both time and expense entries. Alright, so next up we have the Leeds Professional ID. Now, 
the lead's ID number must be identical to the ID used on the site that you upload your lead's invoices to. Most systems use the first initial and the last name, so for example, as you can see here, John Smith has is J Smith in capitals and TimeSolver has automatically by default applied this to the user, but you can change this if need be. Secondly, we have the leads classification, so choose your option as appropriate and then we have billing initials. Billing initials will automatically be generated by the system by using the first and the last name initials. When setting up or editing a flexible billing template under Time Settings Flexible Templates tab, there's a time tab there that allows you to specify how the user who has created the time entry is identified on the invoices. And from there you can specify between name only, name plus title, initials only, or initial plus title. So that's where these billing initials will come in handy. And then you can enter in a title for the user, again for invoice appearance and identification purposes, but this is not a mandatory field. And then you can see here we have professional group. Now you will only see this field if you have professional groups created under account, settings, professional groups tab. And then you can assign one of these groups to the user from here. These are useful when pulling up reports if you only want to pull for specific professional groups then those can be specified under some report types. And we already created a default rate for this user. Now if you have any global rate set up under time, settings, global rates, you can specify specific global rates for this user from this screen although setting global rates can also be done easily and in bulk for all users in under one screen under the time settings global rates screen but if you need to just do it for an individual user you can come under here as well and then we have the matter rates button which allows you to create a matter user specific rate and then you can go ahead and set up a commission for this user against a specific client and matter. Likewise, you'd come back under the screen to edit any existing commissions, commissions from this same screen. You can see here, you can define the client matter and the commission percent. Now, Finally, we have the Commission Manager and the Commission Manager's percentage. So you can specify them these details here if necessary.